everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some books, if you couldn't tell by the title of this video. Uh, here's the thing. You may see that my last books review video was quite some time ago. And because it was quite some time ago, I've accidentally accumulated quite a lot of books. And this is a problem. The thing is with this video, I've been putting it off. I don't know why, because I quite like doing these videos. but. It's just happened. And there's a lot of books here. There's a lot. Well, there's not that many. There's 20. So, you know, th but the thing is, the whole point in this book review series is that I only review a small amount of books for each video. So, mm, a problem. There's a problem. And my solution, genius solution, I didn't come up with it myself. So, I've been inspired by Jazz at Travels and Fiction to do these reviews in 20 seconds. She was inspired by another booktuber, who I will link down below because I can't remember who they are and I didn't watch their video and I'm a terrible person. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be reviewing each book with 20 seconds. Let's see how we get on. The thing is, I'm usually quite quick with my reviews because I usually don't have much to say because I'm boring. So I've got my 20 second timer here. I hope you can see that because I've got a light, I've got a light, I'm very fancy, and it does sh kind of shine. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see that. So the first book is, what is it, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Oh god, oh god, right, okay, 20 seconds, ready, go! Is it going, oh, okay, so this book follows, um, I can't remember their names because it was so long ago, Clary, and she's just a normal person, but then she gets caught up with the shadow hunters who were like these crazy, um, not crazy, but these people who were kind of fantastical and there's loads of monsters and they try and fight the monsters, they're basically like MI5 but with monsters, um, oh, yeah. How do I stop it? By the stop button. So there we go, I think that was quite comprehensive, don't you? I forgot to say whether I liked it or not. I thought it was okay. Alright. Oh, that was stressful. That was my first go, so I was uh, the first one's going to be the worst. Okay, so next up is Caligula by Suetonius, or is it Suetonius? I don't know. I don't heckin' know. I didn't study like Greek or Latin when I was younger. Anyway, 10 seconds. Ready? Go! Right, so Caligula is a book about Caligula, who is this Roman emperor. Was he Roman emperor? I can't remember. Yeah, he was a Roman emperor, and he called himself a god, and he was just kind of like really, um, you know, egotistical and stuff. And Suetonius was just um, this kind of historical person who just gossips about loads of famous Greek people back in the day. Oh, oh god, how do I stop it? The stop button. Oh, oh, do I like it? Yeah, I thought it was good. I'm breaking the rules because I keep on forgetting to add my opinions. Right. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Just need to have a deep breath. The next book is Far From The Madding Crowd by Tom Sardi. So, ready? Um, ah, Far From The Madding Crowd is about a lady called the Shiva and she is a farmer and she farms a lot and all these other people love her and it's just, oh, it's so complex and it's really funny as well. It's set in the countryside, which I really like. I just love Wessex, which is, um, it's, it's a real place, but also it's a fictional, um, hardly made up, this fictional version, and I liked it. <sighs> oh my God, man. Oh my God. We're getting through it though. We're getting through. Oh my God, is it really this on here? Do Android stream of electric sheep? Who remembers when I did this read along? Oh my God. Okay, ready? Do Android stream of electric sheep is a sort of dystopian, sort of sci-fi novel about, um, ah, uh, what is it about? It's about robots and it's about how uh, our morals uh, with robots, are robots humans if they completely emulate a human being? Who knows? That's what this book is about. And also about um, animals and it's about treating animals the same as you. Oh. And I liked it. I forgot to say about its sexist things. You can look at my videos about that. Right. Gachagusha by Vivek Shambhak is a translated fiction work um, originally in can, can, Canada, which is an Indian, one of the Indian languages, and it's about this family who are poor but then they become rich, and it's about how the family dynamics change from being poor to rich, and it's very interesting, and I would definitely recommend it. It's short and sweet. Uh, is it sweet? Not really, but the ending. Mm. You'll never find out about what I think about the ending. Oh, wow, wow, wow! We're getting through, lads. I've done. 
5 out of 20. Okay, next. The Poison Boy Bible is a historical fiction set in around 1960s Congo, and it is about this missionary family who come from America to Congo to try and convert people to Christianity. It's about family dynamics, again, like Gaucho Gucci, so there's lots of comparisons between that, um, which is good. I really enjoyed it. I think it's a great historical fiction, and look at the damn cover, it's beautiful. Uh, oh, I think that was my most successful yet. Come on, let's carry on going. Superior by Anjali Saini. This is an art version, why the cover, that's what the cover's supposed to look like. Right, let's go. Uh, Superior is a non-fiction book about race history, about race science and eugenics and things like that and how basically what even is race, does race even exist or is race in itself racist. It's very interesting, I wasn't convinced on the structure, I did a podcast episode on it of all my thoughts but overall I thought it was rather good. Oh, I've got two seconds. Right, I'm going to change the, the noise because it's annoying me. I'm gonna, I've changed the noise to an owl. Right, okay, let's get going. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This is a YA book about a, a teenager, if you can believe it, and she has lots of uh, things wrong with her, biological things wrong with her, so she can only stay in the house, she's not allowed to go outside. But then they get new neighbours and she really likes the boy who moves in and they form a relationship. Not a romantic relationship, just a relationship. Yeah. It was okay. Next. Laurie Lee, uh, what is it called? Uh, to War in Spain. This is just a tiny little non-fiction book about how Laurie Lee went to fight in the Spanish Civil War like what George Orwell did. This is just his travelling to Spain, not the actual Spanish Civil War, and it was very interesting. I didn't know all these things happened. I would recommend it's very short and sweet. It's not sweet. I don't know why I keep on saying short and sweet. It's the first thing that comes into my head. Next book is, it would take me 20 seconds to even say the title, by the River Piedra, I sat down and went by Paulo. I just, come on, you don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, oh, I spent the first few seconds breathing. Uh, this is a book. I don't even know what it's about. It's about two people who once knew each other and then they found each other again at a conference in like Spain or something, and then they strike up a, con a conversation and they're both pretty sad. It seems, and that's about it. I don't really know what else that happens. The plot isn't very well formed, but I like the setting. Ooh. Well, this noise is getting annoying as well, isn't it, friends? Okay, Heartstopper, Volume 1, BOW! This is a story about a boy called Charlie, and he is gay, and that is the main thing about this book. It's a romance book. The thing is, with this, I thought I was going to hate it, but I didn't. I thought it was really good. It's not cringy like most romance stuff that I've read, and it's just a good time, and it's probably really shiny because I have a light, and I'm sorry about that. I really like Alice Oseman, and I really like the illustrations. <laughs> Next, I read Solid Hair by Alice Oseman also. This follows the sister of Charlie Spring, who is in Heartstopper, and she is a very bleak kind of person, very pessimistic. Solid Hair is a weird kind of secret group, and they perform loads of stunts and pranks at her secondary school, which get gradually worse, and it's all about how she deals with that and how she feels about herself. <gasps> oh my god. It's good. Oops, I forgot to say. Ah, oh, baby, baby, baby. Before the coffee gets cold, by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Oh, I love this book so much. It's a Japanese fiction. It's been recently translated to us here. Uh, it is kind of magical realism in some ways, in some ways not. So it's about this cafe and you can sit in the seat and go back to the past. And lots of people go back to the past, but it's also about um, just their lives and about human behaviour, which I found very interesting, about uh, human motivations and, oh, Oh, I should do an individual review of this book. Mm, mm. Next, I read The Humans by Matt Haig. I don't know why I forgot who it was by. Matt Haig is... Uh, not Matt Haig. Ah, The Humans is quite a funny little book. It reminds me a bit of uh, The Curious Incident of the Owl, oh, Dog in the Nighttime. That didn't hurt. Uh, it's about this um, alien who... It gets into a human body, a mathematician's body, because this mathematician solves a really difficult math equation that would end the human race, but the human race don't know that, so he takes over his body. And I quite enjoyed it. Okay, next. Lily Allen, my thoughts exactly. This is a biography, an autobiography rather, of Lily Allen's life. Lily Allen is a very famous English musician. Oh, I love her looks. She writes a lot about um, just real life, about her relationships, that kind of thing. Uh, in the book, it's very raw. I really enjoyed learning about her life. What more can I say? It's an autobiography. Lots of things I knew. I learned that I didn't know before. And yeah, good. Oh, wow, wow. 
City Ravens by Borea Sachs. Probably the coolest name I have ever heard in my entire life. Um, ignore that burp, which is from Tom. Uh, City of Ravens is about the Tower of London and the ravens that inhabit the Tower of London and that's about it really. You can listen to my podcast episode if you want to learn more. It was a good book but the structure wasn't that fantastic but I still knew it anyway. Yeah, I should have got a crow noise. Huh. Next. Ooh, wow. Lady You Recall by Margaret Atwood is a book about a writer. I don't really know really what happens. Nothing that much happens into it other than that. What, what does happen? I actually don't know. Um, I thought it was okay. It was more of a character study as Victoria says. I read it for what, Victor the, what the book club read and I thought it was okay but I, I literally couldn't remember anything about it other than that. What I said already. Oh, right, okay. This is an easier one now that I can do. I read these bad boys which is the first four books of the Harry Potter series <gasps> so the Harry Potter series you know what it's about already everyone knows what it's about already if you don't what the hell um, you do you do secretly so I read these four I'm currently reading the fifth book really enjoying it what more can I say really um, I, I read these for the first time only a few years ago I know I'm sacrilegious but also um, there's lots of things that I don't remember from them reading the second time round which is nice. Next, I read Class War by, who's it by? Mer Mer Lathine. Megan Erickson. This is a book, if you can believe it, about education and in America, not in the UK. And it's about how class sort of affects education. But also, it's not really about that. It's just repeating itself a lot. I was supposed to do it for a podcast episode, but I haven't done that yet. And I'm sorry, I'm just a terrible human. Uh, what more can I say? I, to be There you go. And lastly, we've come to the end. The last book I read is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Now, I'm, I'm trying to kind of sway away from dystopian at the moment, but I just wanted to read The Road because I just fancied it. Uh, it was quite short. Uh, it's an interesting dystopian society. So it's about this man and his son, and they're just traveling along alone on this road. And a lot of bad people are in it. It's a lot about morality and who is good and who is bad and about other things. Oh heck, that one was hard man. I did enjoy it though. Oh my god. Okay, now I have to try and hold all these bad boys up for you. And there we go. Ooh, do it for the, the, what you call it, thumbnail. Right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, uh, am I too high up? Uh, do the one of the things I read. <sighs> but tubers are so fit, I mean, they get so much exercise done by lifting things. I don't know why we're not all just like really muscly. We're amazing humans, aren't we? I love us. We're the best. So, read the things. There. Did it. Review. Yay. I'm tired now. I'm so heckin' tired. I need to go and have a nap. I'm just, uh... That was really stressful. I hope you didn't find it stressful. Thank you! God, thank you, Jesus, that I made this video. Now I can be in, just do it logically, and, ooh, hairs everywhere, and just do a few books at a time, rather than loads, because that was a silly idea, wasn't it? Yes, it was, friends, it was. I hope you enjoyed this. I've got far too much energy, I think it's because I'm so tired, and because I have a cup of tea. Tea. I don't know what kind of tea it is, if you're asking. It is a, what, what is this? It's, can't remember, it's smoky, I think it's Chinese tea, it's good, I'm having a good time, I'm enjoying life, yeah, going to have a nap now, goodbye, have a nice day, <laughs> I've just stopped functioning now, I've been talking too much and I'm done with talking, I'm done with talking for the day now, I'm just going to read, no I'm not, I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.